Hey guys, Ben from Boss Bikes Motorcycles here. Today I'm going to show you how to change the oil in your motorcycle. To do so, I'm going to be using my 1982 Yamaha Virago XV920. Let's take a look. Alright, so before we get started, we just want to make sure we have all the right equipment. So the first thing we're going to need is the oil drip tray. So this is going to go underneath your motorcycle and collect all of the old oil that's going to filter out. Just make sure it's big enough to contain all of the oil in one go. The second thing is, surprise, surprise, the oil. So if you're not sure what type of oil your motorcycle needs, either find your uh, manual and it will tell you, or if you don't have the manual, just jump on Google, type in your bike and oil, and I'm sure there's a forum out there somewhere on the internet that will tell you what you need. I've chosen the 20W50 for mine. Uh, the next things you're going to want is just some paper towel to clean up, clean up any uh, drips or mess that you make along the way. Along with that, I like to use some disposable gloves. Oil is obviously a liquid and it's messy, so I like to make sure my hands stay nice and clean throughout the process. And the last thing is just the tools to open up the oil uh, tank. So if you've got the soccer wrench, perfect. I've lost the, uh, the right size I need to open it up, so I'm just going back to the handy dandy pliers here. All right. Let's get started. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is run your motorcycle for about five minutes. This allows all the oil that's in the tank at the moment just to loosen up and become a little bit more runny. If you don't, it's just not gonna filter out quite as easily. So let's go ahead and do that. Bike is in neutral. So if you have a center stand, that's the best way of going about mounting the bike. This allows for it to be uh, upright so that when you're pouring the new oil in, you can get a more accurate and level reading through the viewing glass as to how much is going in. If you don't, it's totally fine, I don't. So it just means that when you're pouring the new oil in, you need to be just a little bit more creative to make sure you're measuring properly. Um, so going down to the oil tank, so there's three main components that we're going to be working with today. So the first is the cap right here. That's where the new oil is going to be going in. Coming down underneath the bike, here we have the plug. So that's where the old oil is going to be coming out. And then third is the viewing glass just in here. So when we're pouring the new oil in, we'll be able to see how much is going into the oil tank through this window. So I've placed the oil drip tray underneath the oil tank and the very first thing we're going to do is take off the oil filter cap. So the reason we take off the cap before draining the oil out is that it allows it to create a vacuum so that when you open the plug up and the oil goes to drain out, it'll run nice and smooth and free. If you don't take the uh, cap off, it just means you're going to be sitting here for a very long time waiting for the oil to drain out. Another thing that I like to make sure that I do, because you want to make sure that you're not putting any outside contaminants into the oil tank, is just place everything on some clean paper towel. This will help make sure that you're not putting oil, uh, sorry, sand or dirt or any grime back into the oil tank, to keep everything nice and clean. So right here, you can see the drain plug, which is what we're going to open up to make sure all the oil filters out. So let's take a look at that. And here we can see, because we allowed the bike to warm up for five minutes, the oil is running nice and smooth and clean out of the bike. So let's let that work its way out and then we'll get on to the next step.
All right, so coming down to look at the viewing glass, you can see where the oil line is. You don't want it to be completely above where the viewing mirror is. Yeah, see so your maximum line is there and the minimum line is there. So you want it to be somewhere in between. So we're pretty close on to where the maximum line is there. So I'm pretty happy with the amount of oil that's in there. So let's go back and put the cap back on. What I like to do is just get a little dab of this new oil. After cleaning and wiping down the cap, just give it a little bit of a wipe. Again, only a tiny dab of the oil. Let's get that back in here. Nice and tight. And there we go. Fresh, clean, beautiful oil, all ready for spring. All right, so the old oil is out, the new oil is in. What you're gonna wanna do is fire the bike up and take it for a ride around the block, or let it run just for a couple of minutes. Switch it back off, come back down to the viewing glass and see where the oil level lies now. If it's come down just a little bit, just open up the cap, put a little bit more oil in, top it back up, do the same thing again. Once you're in a place where you're happy, you're good to go. So in case you weren't aware, oil is something that can be recycled. So you can see how gross and black and sludgy this oil is that I've taken out. What I've done is put them back into these containers, I've got to give them a quick rinse off and I'm going to take them back to the local auto store for them to recycle. Hey, so we know that everyone's motorcycle is a little bit different um, and we know that we're all riding in different parts of the world. So changing your oil, your oil type can be just a little bit different. So to help us all out, hit us up in the comments. Let us know what you're riding and let us know if you have any little tips that can help anyone else riding the same bike and changing the oil. Apart from that, if you want any other easy maintenance motorcycle tips or videos for us to put together, just hit me up, let me know what you want to see. In the meantime, remember, Fast thrills, no spills, ride safe. You.